Hey, 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 good morning, 365 friends. Sharon Hornelstrom here. You can call me Pajama Grandma, of course, or you can just call me Sharon. You can pretty much call me anything you want, and I'm, I'm usually cool with it. I don't usually like being sworn at, and I don't get that so much anymore now that I'm a little older and mellower. Um, having a cup of tea today, thinking about Elena, because I ate stuff that I don't normally eat yesterday, and today I woke up with like a total tummy ache, like, like yucky gut rot tummy ache. And I just was smiling as I think about the impact that all of you are having on my life and, and things that I maybe wouldn't think about otherwise. I, the first thing I thought about, I was like, okay, well, what would Elena tell me to do because I've got this weird tummy ache? And so I'm having some nice mellow tea, a lot of lemon water, and I know in a couple of hours I will be absolutely fine. And I will write down, because I always write down everything that I eat and consume, and I did write it down. I write it down even when I know I shouldn't consume it because usually it will slow me down and I don't eat it, but sometimes I eat it anyway and then I have the consequences of that, like a tummy ache, and I learn, and I, I do it less frequently, but of course I will still do it. It's kind of like ice cream and caramels. I eat them a lot less frequently, and I like to credit because I write it down, although that probably has nothing to do with it, but... Um, I, I learn more and more about myself and what works for me and what doesn't work for me. And we do that in every area of our life. We have to determine and figure out what works for us because we're all different and go with that, not go with what other people thinks, think we should do. Today, I'm going to have to give a little thought to the 30-day challenge we have starting tomorrow. I'm really excited about it. And I will admit, this is a confession here, that I generally don't plan out and map out strategically what I'm gonna do for my Facebook Lives. And it could be because I originally started doing them just because I was afraid to do them, and I wanted to figure out what my voice was and what I had to say and what I have to offer. And since that was my original intent, and I haven't really deviated from that intent yet because I'm still trying to figure out what my voice is, I don't tend to plan out. Morning, Marian. I don't plan, I don't usually plan out what I'm going to do on my Facebook lives. And I, I was laughing this morning because as I was doing one, I noticed that I started talking about one thing and I typed in the, the description what it was going to be about. And then I was talking about something totally different. And then I had to come back around to talking about what I had put in the description so that it matched. I don't know if y'all ever do that, but I do that more often than I like to admit. So I really have to think about and plan out what am I going to do over the next 30 days so that I have, you know, something that makes sense for the group that's coming in? And that's different for me because I tend to deviate from what I'm talking about. So I'm going to have to actually pay attention, plan out what I'm going to talk about. And I think I've got the topics all mapped out. I'm going to go in, in line with what I'm doing for my Super Size Your Business page because I'm trying to get more focused and more aligned in what I'm doing and what I'm presenting as an online person and an online persona. And it's who I am, and so it fits really well with that. But that's what I'm working on today. Tomorrow I'm going to go see my grandma. So the first day, I will probably still do my videos first thing in the morning because that works out best for me and my personal time frame and my clock. So I usually get up, and first thing in the morning, I do my videos. So even though I'm going to go see my, my wonderful, almost 99-year-old grandmother, I will do my videos first thing in the morning. So I will have to figure out from Marion. Marion, if you let us all know today exactly what we should do and how we should do that, that would be really, really helpful. I also was wondering this morning, because I wonder weird things, are we going to begin numbering our days 1 through 30, or can we continue like with day 106 through 136, I guess it would be, for that, just to kind of keep track for those of us in this 365-day challenge where we're at. I'm going to tell you, i got to write it all down. I totally can't keep track of what I'm doing if I don't write it down. I like to blame my age, but I think even young people need to keep track of things and write things down. So that's what I'm doing. Today I am going to redo my webinar. I did a webinar yesterday, and for some people it was black and they couldn't see it. I don't know why. I will not even pretend that I understand technology and how it works in my own life, much less other people's technology. So I'll just redo that and 
you know, fix the recording's actually fine of it. I don't know why it was black for some people. I, again, I'm not going to try to understand technology. I'm just going to do what I do and, and let people that are technical experts kind of figure out and untangle those things. So I wish everybody a fantastic day. Elena, thanks for all the things you teach us about our health because it's actually having a huge impact on me for sure, and I'm sure it is everybody else as well. I could have used the... Uh, I guess it wasn't mosquitoes. It was I got stung by a bee yesterday. <coughs> and so I had to figure out something for that. But it's always interesting. All right, y'all have a fantastic day, and I'll see you tomorrow with the new 30-day challenge. Bye.